kind of out of tune, but I quite, I quite like it. Last night when I couldn't sleep, I was scrolling through my news feed, reading everyone's crap, and watching viral videos. I was looking at some wedding photographs, I looked at them for an hour and a half. <laughs> I realized they were all the people I didn't even fucking know. <laughs> when my girlfriend got up for work, she looked at me like I was dirt. She said, you're lazy, you're ruining my life, and you're getting fat. <laughs> she said, I know you want to spend another day in bed, but I needed to take the cat to the vet. Oh, and I'm leaving you, and I'm never coming back. So she slammed the door, I shouted back. What? What's the problem with the cat? <laughs> But I got out of bed, emptied the tank, went downstairs in my pants, and the cat was sitting at the breakfast bar, drinking my gin and playing my guitar, <laughs> smoking my cigars, wearing my bra, reading the newspapers. That's the best rhyme I ever came up with. Later. <laughs> he was singing One Direction songs. Oh no. He was singing, I'm so great, yes it's true, I'm so great, and I'm better than you, I'm essentially a god. Well, I videoed the cat, put it on YouTube, and in half an hour we had a million views. I thought the five things that cats can do that really fucking would blow you. When I ran about here, the telephone rang. Doesn't ring for long, so I ran. But I tripped up on an empty bottle of gin. Yes, smashed my head, tumbling down, crashed my legs on the ground. With the last little energy in my bones, I reached out to pick up the phone. As I lay there in pain, a voice said, Have you had a triple fall or an accident in the last six months? That wasn't your fault. I said, Yeah, I had about 30 seconds ago. Give me some fucking money. Then I said, uh, Actually, my, my wife just left me. Uh, uh, do you want to go and hang out and BJ sometime with me? <laughs> She said no. And then she hung up. The telephone rang for a second time, I'm in a mad voice on the other line. I said, I seen your cat on the internet and I'm making a stop. Yeah, he needs a haircut and some singing lessons, but he does a great one direction in person. I'll put his song on an advert, sell him a car. So we made a lot of money and we had an affair. At one point we were just like Sonny and Cher. That cat got hooked on powdered milk. <laughs> One night we were drinking in a dead end bar when a guy came on with his guitar. You're that cat seen on the internet. Sing me a song, you little pussy. <laughs> when a cat lands a string of punch, but the other guy must have had a finish punch. Threw that little cat right across the room. <laughs> Poor old cat buffed up his paws, cracked a couple of his whiskers. I rang up the insurance company. I said my cats had a triple fall. An accident the last six months that wasn't his fault. And the woman says, sorry, no win, no fee line. Cleveland, that's the best fucking response that joke has ever had. Thank you so much. I mean, literally, I've had fucking people fucking throw shit at me at that point. Thank you so much, Peter. That was wonderful. Thank you. So Donald Trump comes walking by. I'm sure we don't like these songs of mine. He was trying to stop the war. He was trying to save the poor. He was trying to save the health service. Be nice to about the nature of us. I made a video for it on YouTube called The Four Things That No Day Trump Can Do To Blow Your Fucking Mind. Everyone started arguing, religion and land, ended up being the cause of World War III. And that war got worse, and in no time, the gunshots rang out through the night, and the soldiers started marching by, and the atom bombs came from the sky. There was a big flash of white light on the horizon. And just before the flames engulfed us, that little cat looks up at me. Says this is one thing that human beings do that blows my fucking mind.